I'm Richard Saxton. My guest is Ted Triba, one of the uh, most recent winners on the PGA Tour. We're talking the business of golf. He won the Anheuser-Busch Classic. Uh, he has been on the tour about three and a half years, came up with his first victory. Uh, you joined the tour in 1990, and uh, you've done pretty well out of the gate. Uh, how was it when you first started on the tour at age 21, right out of college? Well, that was the hard part because, you know, I, I graduated school and went right to the tour school after that, and I... I played well enough to get through, and I thought I had enough ability to play out here, but I just, I really wasn't ready to be out here, to be totally truthful, and, you know, I, I, I lost my car that year, but I was eligible for the Hogan Tour, and I played two years out there, which really helped develop my game and my patience, and, and my, as far as my course management was concerned, how to play out here, and how to get around from city to city, and I came out the next year and finished top ten in the Nike, finished fourth, and then I came out here, and I kept my car the last two years, and, uh, you know, pretty much, and finally this year I've got a win, so I'm um, kind of progressing very steadily, but like a, maybe like a good stock. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say you weren't ready, uh, is it business as well as your golf ability, or which kind of hurt the most that first year? Mentally. I wasn't mentally ready. I wasn't p prepared to play at this level. I was a good college player, and... You know, all I had to do then was just really play extra conservative. I heard I had to learn out here how to be aggressive but yet conservative and, and, and make absolutely minimal mistakes, always hit the right shot, always hit the right, make the right play. And uh, it took me a long time to do that. Uh, I think it takes some guys to develop a little quicker than others, but, you know, once I, once I learned it, I, you know, I kind of, it, it sunk in pretty hard and uh, I've helped, I've been able to progress and, uh, develop my game into something a little better than what it was before. You're a long hitter and out here on the tour uh, it's certainly a drive for show and in the business side of it it's the drivers uh, that really make a difference. You're playing, if we can look at your shirt here, with the uh, Easton Metal Woods. Uh, you're a long hitter. Is that a, a big part of the game for scoring as well as for uh, audience pleasing? Well, I don't know if it's a... It, it helps you scoring, but I think that, you know, I don't, I don't really don't try to hit the ball that hard all the time. I've, I've basically, like I said before, since I've gotten a little smarter, I try to hit a lot more fairways. <laughs> I mean, I can't play from the rough out here, and so I, I try to back off a lot and hit it in the fairway and just keep the ball down the middle. And, uh, you know, the length is always nice, but it's even nicer to be in the fairway all the time. Let's look at your shirt here. Inc. Magazine, one of your sponsors. Uh, you're out of college. You're new on the tour. How do you get the sponsors? How do you get the financial backing to play on the PGA Tour? Well, you've got to have a good agent. You know, you really, you got to have some good people working for you, you know, making some good decisions for you. And, uh, you know, from there, you know, you try to leave it in their hands and hope for the best. But there's some good, there's some good groups out here, and they'll take care of you. What does your agent do for you? Who is your agent? I'm with Cambridge Sports with John Moscatello and Bud Martin, and uh, those guys do a really good job for me. They also represent, you know, guys like John Daly, Mike Springer, Neil Lancaster, and uh, Scott Hoke. We won't play with this week, so Hokey and I will be out there talking about them probably. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, you know, you, you really need people like that because they open the doors for you. I, I would not be able to be sponsored by Inc. Magazine or any, anyone else because I wouldn't have the, enough time to go out there hunting for this stuff, but they do, and uh, they do a good job for it. Do they also uh, time manage you as well, tell you which tournaments to play in and help you schedule flights, hotels, and, and the business side of uh, being on the tour? Um, no, not really. I mean, you, you determine your own schedule, and, and, uh, but they kind of throw an offer at you, and you'll say yes or no. And when you say yes, they let the ball roll, and they take care of it. If you say no, then that's it. Okay, you won the Anheuser-Busch in mid-July. Is the feeling, did it change your life? Do you want to, like, play every event now because you're really on top of your game? <laughs> I play every event anyway. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> Um, I don't know, you know, I'm, you know, I really don't have a lot, uh, back home, I mean, I don't have a family and I'm not married, so I kind of like being out here and I like playing, uh, sometimes I sit home, I'm young, and I, I really don't need a lot of rest, I mean, I can go home for three days and I feel pretty good, and then I'm like, God, I should be out there playing or something like that, you know, but, um, it's good to go home and get some rest, but I like to play a lot, and, uh, when I'm not playing, I miss it, so I, I you know, I, I just look at my schedule like, if I like to play there, I'm going. Let's talk about Ping. You've had success. You've used the Ping I-2s. Uh, that's the club you have now. Uh, they have the Zings. They have newer clubs. Uh, tell us a little bit about your association with Ping and the fact you're still with the I-2. Um, I started playing I-2s when I was a sophomore in college. And I think some of the, I don't know, let's see, maybe some of those irons in there are still the same ones, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I started playing them in college. You know, they're a little easier for me to hit. and. Uh, I thought that 
you know, Ping's been so good to me and, and so good to their, their players, it's very difficult to, to go to another company, I think, because whatever you need, whatever you want, there's not a lot of questions about it. You, you call, it's there the next day. I really like the service department, and they make a very good golf club. Everybody's got a set of pings. I mean, I play in a lot of pro-ams out here, and everybody's got a set of pings. And I've always stuck with the I-2s because, you know, I've always I've played them, and I hate changing. You know, the, cl the other clubs are just as good, I'm sure, but I like the look, and I've, have, I've had success with that particular iron, so I stayed with it. Let me ask you quickly, final question here. Are you going to help them with their new generation of clubs that I think are coming out in January? Uh, I don't know if I'm in uh, research and development, but uh, um, I'm sure that, you know, if s a lot of the players give them a lot of input, and uh, the rep out here is Barry Brewster, and uh, Barry goes back to the factory and tells these guys, you know, a lot of guys don't like this, and they can look at the, the Daryl survey, and they can see what guys are playing, and they have a good idea what players like and don't like. So if they come out with a new club that players aren't playing, they're going to change it. All right. Ted Tribeck, congratulations on a great year so far. Continued success. Thanks a lot. All right. Thanks. Ted Triba, my guest on the business of golf, Tita Green on the Business Channel.